yours? I don't know. Look at my new rebuild. That's not yours. Stop lying. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We actually just won this brand new 2019 McLaren 720S. It is in Florida, so we are gonna have to go get it right now. And as you can see, it's hit pretty good in the front and the door is actually missing. So it's gonna be a really fun project, but just check out the color of that thing. It just looks beautiful. Let's go ahead and we need to head to the shop, get the truck and head down to Florida. We made it back to the shop and we have our truck and trailer loaded up right here. We got a nice aluminum trailer and then an F-250 gas burner let's go ahead and hit the road so this car is about 10 hours away so i guess we'll hit the road and we'll do a little check-in with you guys probably midway there we'll grab some food or something so i'll talk to you guys soon So we just made it to the Copart down here in West Palm Beach. We actually made it down here at like three o'clock and we just decided to just go ahead and take a nap at a gas station. And now we're here, it's eight o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and go inside, get all the paperwork done for the McLaren and hopefully we can get it loaded up right now. Pretty good. Looking good? Yeah, don't is this get... fixable? Is this fixable? I don't know. I don't know, man. It's kind of smack, not gonna lie. So we got the car all loaded up and it's looking pretty bad right now, but I guess we won't really know exactly how bad it is until we get it back to the shop. But the cool thing is they did give us the door and also the hood and the wheel, which turns out the caliper is good and the rotor might be good. I'm pretty sure it is. Don't really see any cracks on it anywhere. And that's a pretty cool thing that they didn't just take it and sell it. And we also have the hood over here, which has one good vent. That's pretty cool. But what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and strap the car down and we're gonna hit the road. So we got the McLaren all nice and strapped down. We went ahead and strapped the door up front right here and then we put all the other parts inside. But we got everything strapped down. But it is kind of windy right now and it is about to start raining. So we're gonna go ahead and head back to the shop. We might have to stop in at a parts store and grab some more of this coating. Because as you can see, it's just gonna be flopping or something like that. So we got the McLaren all loaded up. We got everything strapped down really nice. And we also went ahead and checked the trailer. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and head to our friend Sam Crack's place. He's only one hour out of the way from driving from here all the way back to Tennessee. So we're gonna stop by, check out some of his cars and see what he thinks about this McLaren. Next, we have to stop by Walmart, make a little pit stop to get this car cover right here. I want to get this thing covered up just in case it does start raining because the clouds look like it's about to start raining and we don't want none of that getting wet inside because 
This is an expensive car. So let's go ahead and toss this car cover on there and head over to Sam Crack. It's like making a bed, eh? So we got the car nice and wrapped up with this car cover. Shouldn't go anywhere. Let's head to Sam Crack's. Well, we're gonna fix it together right now. We got about four hours left, so I'm gonna have to get off this call. <laughs> so we're finally here at Sam Crack's house. We just decided to stop by on the way home. And what do you think of this McLaren? Ben, you got a lot of work in front of you, but if anybody could do it. Remember, last time I said this, what did I say? Yeah. If anybody can do it, who? I could do it. No, no, it wasn't you. It was the goon squad. That's what I said. But this time it's gonna be you. Um, this is insane. I'm just looking at the carbon fiber damage, but anybody's got a game plan, it's him. You brought the fender back on my Lamborghini. Yeah. The quarter the fender. Quarter panel, that turned out pretty good. Where's turned out crack? incredible. We're gonna go take a look at it in just a minute. I'm not the you're not the only one that gets professionals that come to your place. Look at what's at. Look at my new rebuild. That's not yours. Stop lying. New rebuild. Look at that. That's V Tune Star. That is. Damn. There we go. What do you think, Sam? Is it a good deal? Listen, you just said something to me off camera. I'm not going to repeat it, but this is the same exact feeling everybody gets after they pick up, especially something that's expensive from the salvage auction. You're like excited initially. Then you're a little bit bummed when you win it, when you haven't even looked at it. And then you get a good look at it. This is tough because it's a lot of money, but I think we got it. Okay, good. I'm glad you think that. I think he's got it too. Yeah, we're going to go with that. So now you see my car, let's go ahead and check out that Lamborghini. Remember we rebuilt on yeah. my channel a while back. I'm excited to show it to you because really a lot of the magic was done at your shop. And then you're going to see this paint job. Absolutely incredible. Check it out. But first, got to show them what started all of this. All right, Domino's car. Now, even though your car is really bad, if you want to make a trade, I would consider. This is the car out of all of them that I don't want to get rid of. But for a 720, even in that bad a condition, you know. <laughs> Uh, but remember what this looked like when I got it home. It was awful, but it also only cost $525, so it wasn't, you know, the end of the world. But here, you want to see under the hood? What are you like? You're so anxious to see it. Oh, it's already open. <laughs> yeah, that's it. 16D. That's a uh, engine that's made in Korea, and then it's got a CVT transmission that, um, yeah, it's awful. That's nice. You got some ants over there, too. Just a few. What about your pizza in the oven? No pizza in the oven. Yo, enough of this little Domino's car. I want to check out your Lamborghini because this thing is just, it ain't got no pizza in it. Okay, that's a fair, that's a fair reason, okay? There's a little shield that goes in that corner. Ben, I can't thank you enough for all the incredible work you put into this car, because look at the oh, final yeah, result. It turned out amazing, man. Check that out, all the paint work and the framework, just all the gaps are just beautiful on this thing. That's thanks to you, especially that the frame piece right there. Oh yeah. We don't even have to look at it, we just know it's there, you know? So this Lamborghini turned out absolutely beautiful. They did an amazing job on the paint and all thank the body you. gaps. Thank you very much. Perfect. Appreciate it. Yeah. And now we're just gonna head back, probably grab some food and head back to the shop. So it's the next morning here at the shop and we dropped the car off 
late at night, it was like two o'clock. So we went home and got some rest. We got a Red Bull this morning. Let's go ahead and check out this car. So here's the 720S. As you can tell, it is hit pretty good in the front. We have a lot of damage on this passenger side area. And what I'm thinking is he hit a, a barrier on the highway because you can see there's some stuff that just got sanded down. But it's looking pretty bad over there. And this passenger side is, kind of, the cool thing about this passenger side is mostly everything is still intact and it's still on. There's a lot of brackets that are bent and stuff, but now we'll actually know what we need to replace and what we need. As you can see, we still have like the headlight still here. So maybe we can just fix the broken tabs or something like that. Cause these parts are kind of pricey and they're kind of hard to come by. So as you can see, the front end is pretty bad. Now let's go ahead and check out the rear of the car. It's actually probably one of the best areas on the car. The rear quarter panel is a little bit damaged right here. I'm guessing when the door kind of just pushed into it and I think the firefighters actually ripped the door off because they cut the hinge and stuff like that. So the rear doesn't have much damage. There's a little bit of damage on this bumper right here. I'm guessing it slid a little bit, but that's a pretty easy fix right there. There's no cracks or anything in the bumper and the rear end just looks absolutely stunning. There's no damage, it's so awesome. And the wing is up. So I'm guessing he was in track mode and he was just going a little bit too fast when he did all this. Let's go over to the passenger side. Everything is basically basically perfect on this side. There's no damage, the door opens and closes pretty good. Go ahead and open it up, check this out. Look how the door opens, that's crazy. I've never seen a car door open like this. This is the first time I've ever seen a 720S in person. And now it's sitting on my lift. And check that out. And then we'll get into the interior a little bit later. Let's go ahead and close this down. The door closes, everything's perfect. There's no issues there. And same thing with the front uh, passenger suspension. Everything is intact. No rotors or anything are cracked, so that's a pretty good sign. Now that we've seen all the damage on the car, the coolest thing about this is they did give us all the wrecked parts. And the cool thing is we do have a good rotor right here and a good caliper, which is pretty cool because that rotor is expensive. It's a carbon ceramic rotor and it doesn't look like it's cracked anywhere. And on the back, you can see we also have the spindle. These control arms are obviously bad, but we have like this sensor right here and this brake caliper, which is pretty dope and it's gonna save us a lot of money. And then we have the old fender right here from the passenger side. It's kind of broken up, but we do have all the brackets on there and all the bolts, which is pretty sweet. Surprised they didn't just throw this in the trash can. And then here's the hood. We did have the, I guess this is the MSO package because it does have the carbon fiber vents on the hood and a lot of carbon fiber on the rear end of the car. But this thing is absolutely toasted. But we do have the hinges. Maybe we could reuse these. I'm not too sure. They look like they're pretty bent up. But I think maybe that side will be good. But we'll have to get to that later. And the door is, it looks like it's, it might be fixable. There is a little bit of cracks right here. And so the cool thing is they actually gave it to us because we will need like this right here. And it's just gonna save us some money. There's still the little opener right here inside. And this piece right here, we might be able to fix, but we might have to just replace it. Now we get to the interior of this car. And as you can see, there's only two airbags blown and one seat belt. I'm guessing there wasn't a passenger, which is probably a good thing. And it doesn't really look like it's too rough or anything. They didn't, and the glass didn't really mess anything up in here because the glass was kind of sitting down, but it did kind of scratch up this little piece of leather right here, which we'll probably have to just take it off and get it restitched. So it's not too big of a deal. But now what I want to do is go ahead and clean this interior out, get all the glass out and probably vacuum it out because there was a little bit of water in there from when it was sitting at the auction. So I want to make sure everything is nice and clean. We got the entire interior kind of just vacuumed out. We really want to get all the glass out. So just whenever we're working inside here, we don't really get cut. Cause as you can see, the front windshield is busted and the passenger side door window has got busted also. I'm guessing they were trying to get it in the car somehow, but it actually cleaned up pretty nice. There's really no cuts or tears in the seats. And man, this is pretty freaking sick. First time being in a 720S. And as you can see right here, this is in sport mode still. That's why the speedometer actually flips up and it's so freaking cool. 
and then you have all this stuff over here there's no really damage usually sometimes on these cars especially on a big impact like this screen right here will get damaged by somebody hitting it and the key is actually damaged i'm guessing it was in his pocket and it looks like it either ripped the back cover off or somebody took it off it's pretty weird right there what i want to do is actually try to get this ignition on because i do not know the miles it just said unknown miles and this is a 2019 it looks like it probably has low miles because the wheels or the tires actually look brand new so what we're gonna do is go ahead and mess with some stuff up there and see if we can get this ignition turned on so what we're gonna do right now is go ahead and probably remove this frame rail right here because as you can see there's the battery down there and this is kind of like pushed up against it i'm guessing that's some kind of tank so what i'm gonna do right now is go ahead and unbolt the rest of this frame rail as you can see it's already kind of ripped off and it's just moving so what i'm gonna do is grab some tools and get this thing completely off We got the battery back on the McLaren and it's not turning on. I'm guessing there's something else going on over there. Maybe some fuses or something, but we're going to have to look into that. Maybe get some McLaren help on there. There was not much stuff online about this car because it is pretty new. I think they came out in 2018 or something like that. So we're definitely going to have to do a lot of digging on this car. It's going to be a tough project. This is a McLaren 720S. It's pretty crazy. But after we got most of this stuff off, it's not looking as bad as it looked and hopefully we'll be able to get this thing back together. So we tried getting this car to turn on, but it turns out maybe the battery started dying or something like that, and it is a lithium ion battery, so we had to order a special charger just to charge this thing up. And then once that comes in, and we can obviously start the car or do whatever, but now what I wanna start doing is get some more of this stuff off. I wanna get these wipers off and cut all the rest of this glass off right here, because this is dangerous if you like hit your hand on there, you can get you a nice big old cut. So what we're gonna do right now is get all this glass off, take these wipers off, and obviously take this off right here because I don't really want it hanging down. So we got this cowl piece off and there's nothing really broken under here. This little piece is broken off right here, but I think we can just easily push that back onto there. It's like a little thing. So that's pretty cool. And this piece is good. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and just cut off all this glass right here, grab a razor blade and just cut it all the way off. So we went ahead and cut off all the old pieces of the windshield and we didn't find any cracks, anything over there. So that's a really good sign on the car. And honestly guys, I think this is gonna be a really easy fix. We really just need one frame rail 
and a little bit of buffing paste and it'll be good to go. Kidding guys, this is gonna take a lot of work to do and I already got a little cut on my finger from that aluminum piece over there, so which we're gonna have to tackle in the next video. So we've already did a lot of work on this car. We got most of the main area taken apart and we are gonna start ordering a lot of parts. So if anybody knows where any McLaren parts are, go ahead and hit the DM on Instagram at VTune or shoot us an email at VTune Garage. Be happy to respond to that. So the crazy thing about this car is the entire tub on this thing is all carbon fiber construction and it's crazy because if something is pretty bent over or something you can't really pull it out or anything like that we do have a couple of cracks right here this is actually where the hood hinges bolt up but this is actually fiberglass this isn't carbon fiber and i think we'll be able to easily just put some new nut certs in there and get that taken care of right there but the cool thing is on the passenger side a lot of this stuff is still good like this reinforcement bar this reinforcement bar might be still good i think it is a little bent down here but I think we'll take care of that. And this stuff right here seems like it's good and all the wiring is still here, which is pretty awesome because it's gonna be pretty hard to find some McLaren plugs so you can't just cut them off a parts car or something like that. And then over here, we have a pretty weird construction. It looks like these are the brackets that hold on the fender. I'm still not too sure. It's so weird how it connects to the body. And as you can see right here, it just ripped off right there. And we have the same issue going on right here, just like we have on the other side. I guess it ripped the entire hood off. But I think it'll be pretty easy to put it back on as you can see. It's literally just nut certs and they just go into the, the fiberglass. So it's pretty simple conversion right there. So overall, this car is looking pretty good. At first, I was kind of scared and wondering, but once we got to the auction, it didn't really look too bad. Now that we're getting into it, it's not really that bad as compared to what I thought it was. And this thing is really cheap. And everything on the passenger side looks maybe that we could possibly fix this fender. It doesn't really look like there's anything major wrong with it. It has a little crease right here but we might end up replacing it. I have seen some pretty sick carbon fiber fenders with the sweet vents that go right here. They're not too expensive. And down here, uh, maybe we'll be able to save this headlight. I'm not too sure. And then here's the blinker that goes on just like that. The crazy thing is these headlight bezels are so expensive. They're like a thousand dollars a piece, but good thing we still have one. Maybe it's fixable, maybe not. We'll have to see. But the, cool, the coolest thing about this car is mostly everything behind this point right here back is pretty much perfect condition. So we've taken most of this car apart. Now we know exactly what parts we're gonna have to order. Man, this is gonna be an exciting journey. Finally working on my own supercar. I've been looking for one for quite some time and we finally have it. It's on my lift right here and it is pretty destroyed, but I think I can handle rebuilding it. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you definitely subscribe because this is gonna be one of the coolest rebuilds I've ever done on my channel. So that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. We got a lot of work done. We went to Miami me picked this sucker up brought it back somehow dragged it onto the lift but that's gonna be it i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and make sure you hit that subscribe button and also follow us on instagram at vtune and if you want some vtune merch go head over to vtune.com